two years ago, we made a, we had a prequel. That's uh, part one, uh, Dead Presidents Part One, and uh, we just felt like this go around. We was just not gonna play no games. It's just it's about the check this time, you know. Like uh, after a while, we, we didn't put so much passion and love in to just feel like people don't put that much faith in you. You know what I mean? Like. You know, fans are on and off, you know, flip flop. So this time we just after the money. We ain't worried about nobody else, like opinion or nothing. We just going for the cash, you feel me? Yeah. So that present is too after the money. Wanted it to look different. Um we was really going with character, like we probably wanted everybody to be a character or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when we start getting different different shit and um we had we had somebody sending it drawn like oh that's crazy nigga we gotta get that right yeah. there so he just drew everybody up and put them up there so yeah. we, we we went through a couple tapes a couple different um uh, artwork and it wasn't it yeah I mean, everybody I mean, I mean sometimes not saying that it it wasn't it but it wasn't it like yeah. everybody ain't agree on it at the same time yeah so yeah. when we seen that everybody was like that's it right there so that's what we ran with yeah. No, we it wasn't no significance. We just felt like that was the right time, you know. Everything together, let's get it. Yeah. Well, Once we got all the pieces in the game, it's like it's time to play, you know. So we just felt like all the right pieces was together. So this is the project we was gonna put out. I don't know. You gotta give them a little bit of everything, man. Right now, we 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 gave them all what we on right now, what we chasing, what we after. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it, it ain't a sound uh, that we not that we I don't think we didn't touch yeah. on that tape. You know what I'm saying? We we, we tried to do everything, so we after it all. Oh, I know God. you can't get all the, you can't have all the money in the world, but I'm trying to touch most of it. Yeah, that's the goal. Track list, we we really let trap do it, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, we gave, gave, him, gave him everything. It was like, he, he told us, what's the track list and how you want to do it? I said, man, vibe out. You tell me. Yeah. We just gave you, gave you the intro and you go from there. Trap always got good mm -hmm. vibes, though. Yeah, like, he knows what he's doing. We could trust Trap with tapes. Like, everybody <laughs> he, from the squad. I don't care who it is. I'm pretty sure everybody that works with Trap is like, go ahead and do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. he just knows how to make the music just roll with each other. Everything just right. Right. satisfied right. with this. Shout out to Big Tiny, man. Yeah, Tiny too, man. Salute. I'm going to say in the beginning, we want to give him that old brick squad from the intro. From the intro, intro got to be something. Like, it always got to catch Something you got to run back. Man. That's something like, you got to run back before you even go through the team. I really think, like, Wu and Gucci, man, started that, like, for the squad. Like, when you come with the intro, the you got to go hard, crazy. Yeah, you got to capture, gotta, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You got to capture the essence. Like, even, like, Gooch with that first day out. You know what I'm saying? Even oh, Wu with the, with the From a Kid to a King. First All, day out every mixtape he comes out with, he captures you with the intro. Yeah. That's always so. We gave him that classic bridge squad from the intro. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, that Fetty Gang, regular Fetty Gang. Strip club music, trying to get the girls to shake their ass. You know how we get it, but the party popping. <laughs> yeah, right. and my uh, little bro, Prem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We introducing them out here. The Prem and Fly, like Fly, he an animal. Like, mm -hmm. like if, if we keeping the young boy on his toes right now, he stay dedicated and focused young like he is right now. On my toes yeah, for too. real, Only for facts. real. But if he stay dedicated to what he do, I know little bro gonna be a beast. And mm -hmm. Prem also, Prem also, he's the R&B singer of the group, so. Yeah, like, them, them two young boys in the monster, they the future of the game, for real. They about to tear shit up. Facts. Mm -hmm. why, why not start with the intro? Yeah. Uh, intro, man, the intro of this tape was, was crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I think the energy, everything on it was perfect, man. I, I don't think it, it could have gotten no better than that, so. Yeah, the intro, definitely. Yeah, we had to hype it. We went through a couple of beats with that too. Yeah, yeah. We had to pick. It was it was so raw that we like, yeah, nah, this beat gotta be crazy. Yeah, 
Yeah. And appreciate my brother Trey Powell's on that one. You know? <laughs> yeah, Trey Powell yeah, made like I actually yeah. did a lot of he production. He probably made on the like tape. nine to uh, eleven beats on the on the whole tape. Yeah, majority of the tape. You know what I'm saying? So word. Yeah, that's that. that's another reason for the after the money, man. We trying to capture all yeah. genres. It, like, it's the first tape where he did it like this too. Like man. Small said on the elevator, I said, "Yo, Smalls, what you doing?" He said, "Everything." And we trying to do everything. We trying to capture yeah, it all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. Just put that web out there and hope everything just land in it. You know what I'm saying? Only facts. Word. But Only facts. Uh, one of my personal tracks that I felt like I had to, was personal to me and myself, and special to me, was uh, that one of the best. You know what I'm saying? I did it for just, man, just really a stress reliever, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing personal no nothing it was just a stress reliever just feel like something i had to get off my chest it was like two days after uh ko passed away like woo little brother so you know it was just a whole lot of like you know the vibes was crazy around the whole team everything like you know so i just had i felt like i just had to go in the studio one early morning i was just like yo fly yo i call fly boy like yo, come pick me up my nigga i'm just about to just go to the studio and, you know, went to the studio, it was probably like eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, just was like, just went crazy on it. Like, I mean, once you listen to that track, you'll understand what I'm talking about, where I'm coming from, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing personal, it was just like, something that I felt like, it was a stress reliever, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. music is a stress reliever in all ways, so, it was just <coughs> a reliever for me to not do, go out and do something dumb, you know what I'm saying? So, that's all it was. My favorite and uh, track that really stand out to me on that is this track we got called I'm Just Trying. It definitely, you know, express what what we're trying to do, where we're trying to go, you know, what we after, you know. Mm-hmm. Everything is just pulled out. I mean, times get hard, <laughs> what we got to do, you know what I'm saying? We just after the money and that, that that track right there really represents what we mean. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of fans, it's a lot of, they, I mean, they get a good they into a good response good on that response. one. I can't, you know me, I, I can't really say uh, I got a favorite track on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like your kids, man. You can't yeah. have a favorite kid, man. Mm-hmm. You can't have a favorite kid, so I, I could be sitting here talking all day about all of them and what, and what we was doing at the moment, and right. how we came up with it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just different vibes, and I think all, 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 all the music that we made was nothing but conversations that we had. That's yeah, what music is about. Yeah. I think music ain't nothing yeah. but a conversation. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, different lingos and learning different things. So that's mm-hmm. all it was. And you know, it's feelings, yeah. man. Feelings. How you feeling yeah. at the moment? Yeah. So that's what it's about, man. That's what we did. That's what we gave y'all. Yeah. Another one though is the. Uh I want to say that drug dealer money like, all the time. Bro. Yeah, drug dealer money is hard, man. Like, Crazy. I don't know where that came from, but. <laughs> Little fly, man. JP, that's hard. JP fly, boy, who the kid, buddy. Drug yeah. dealer money. Go check that video out. They went crazy on that. Shot Move. Little fly time. Them ranks. <laughs> you niggas broke. Boy, crazy, bro. For real. That video had to be done so ASAP. Man, you so quick. Wait. So quick. No time to waste for that one. Yeah. Y'all gonna get hip, though. A lot of videos on the way. Don't worry. A lot of Fetty the gang. If you're not him, you will be him. Squat. Only Please facts, understand, man. man. Only facts. Yeah. Squat. That Flock of Valley 2 coming soon, too, man. Mm-hmm. You gotta know that. Squad way, no way. About to bring that squad shit all the way back, man. All yeah, and, back. and yo, we just try to choose a different type of music. Like, we ain't try to go whole Migos flow. We ain't do no swag beats. Like, nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? We just want to give them the essence. Like, we can do that, we got that. Like, that's not a problem, you know what I'm saying? That's we just want to get back to the original. We ain't want to come back and niggas be like, oh, Man. them niggas turned. Like, them niggas changed. Like, Yo. I, don't, I, I ain't got nothing against it, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like, why go, why stray away from what you originated at? You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what we are. Like, I'm, I'm really disappointed with a lot of artists that change they flow i i ain't gonna get personal right now but i'm i'm gonna have a project and i'm really express that too and 
it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be nothing personal. It ain't no no you know what I'm saying? No harm, no no harm intended. It's just that these are rappers that I liked. You know what I'm saying? Artists that I like and that feel like they transition they flow to something else. And it really made me sad. It hurt my heart. Like, you know what I'm saying? Kinda like Meek said with the you know, I was trying to find like kinda like finding out Jay Z ain't writing his own rhymes. It's like sad to me, like, bro, why you change? You was Perfect most of these the rappers ain't right. Most of they rhymes, man. Keep yeah. it real, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, you can't it, even, you can't even say that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, like I, I, I done been in a lot of studios where, uh, where you got a lot of artists that ain't writing their own music. They got three, four ghostwriters sitting around yeah. writing different records for them, printing the papers you know what up. I'm saying? So, but <laughs> today it, it's different, man. I mean, me personally, I ain't never did that, but I'm, I'm saying like. It's a different ball game today. Yeah, yeah. yeah today yeah. it's it's not about uh it's not really about lyrics like that. Yeah. It's more it's more on entertainment. Gimmick. Gimmick. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. it's more like how can we make money out of this? What can we do? How can this they, they it's just not like it used to be. Like the love for hip hop how it used to be. I'm not yeah. saying the love ain't really there, but it ain't really there. It's more of a hustle yeah. than yeah. anything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Before when you was doing it doing it it was really fun. It was like this is it right here. Now it's like this is a job. Or you back on the block. You know what I'm saying? So people manipulating you, they always got ill intentions, man. You you never know, man. It's like, it I don't know. Everybody got a hidden agenda. You never know. So you just got to pay attention. Yeah, facts, facts. Fun facts, man. We all wrote our own shit. <laughs> <laughs> Real facts. Real facts. You know what I'm saying? Actually, we facts. always were on our own life. All shit. the time. Our own vibes, man. Fine writer, we wrote it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ready <So>, game. <coughs> so that's how we giving it up, man. Yeah. Everything you get from us, you, you, you get from us. Mm-hmm.